Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. How are you doing? Hope all is well. Hope you're having a fabulous day, a fabulous week, a fabulous month, a fabulous year, and a fabulous life, and all that good stuff. Live life to the best of your abilities by getting out doing stuff. Stop staying stuck in a rut. So let's get that housekeeping out the way. Go ahead and hit click that follow button down there. Subscribe to the Christopher Terrence Jones Experience. It is a journey that you want to be a part of. This show is just amazing. Share this video. Tell a friend. All that good stuff. Don't keep it to yourself. Hit that notification up there with that bell. That way, every time I release a video, you get the notification. Simple. All the good stuff. Thank you to all of my seasoned followers. You guys are amazing. Thank you to all of my new followers. You guys are brilliant. You can reach me on Instagram at Mr. Chris T. Jones Show, S H O W. And you can email me at Mr. Chris T. Jones at gmail.com. All that good stuff. Now, the other day in the news, the caption said, cell phone video captures alter altercation between Danville student and school bus driver. Oh my God. So, you know, that caught my attention. I went to look at the video and I'm sorry, this is not an altercation. There is nothing about an altercation here. There is a student who has attacked a school bus driver while the driver was driving the bus sitting in the seat with the seat belt on so let me tell you this the first mistake i saw was that the driver thought that it was okay for this student to be walking towards her while the bus was in motion not on my bus I will stop in the middle of the street, slam on the brakes, the whole nine. Ye shall not be walking at me at a, in a threatening way. Hell no. Second, the student who recorded this video said that the driver and the student were arguing and the driver was telling the student that she needed to stop taking her precious time getting to the bus. Okay. I agree with that. Wrong delivery. But if that's the way you want to do it, because let me tell you something. Here in California, you're supposed to be at the bus stop five minutes before the time. If it's 7.15, I'm pulling at 7.15. I'm not waiting on you. If I see you down the street and you ain't hightailing it toward the bus and you doing the leisure stroll, well, you're going to do the leisure stroll all the way to school. I have other stops. And just because you decide you want to take your sweet time doesn't mean that everybody else has to be late because of you. Because you have no respect for other people's time because it's all about you. The other issue is that I'm not arguing with a child. I'm the adult. There is no argument. I'm not a rookie. I'm a veteran driver. So there's no argue. What's going to happen is you taking your happy butt to the office before we even got there. So when the students started walking, I don't know why. This is just me. I'm defensive, very defensive. I drive in rough neighborhoods. I've driven in the hood. I'm from the hood. So don't get it twisted. When I see you in my mirror up here walking towards me, that means I need to pull over because there's a situation that's about to go down and I'm going to stop this situation before it happens. <sighs> I need you, the parents, to understand. Riding the bus, bus is a privilege. There are so many districts that have stopped transportation and the kids have to get to school the best way they know how. If that means the parents have to take them, if that means they have to walk for miles, if that means they have to catch public transportation or shuttle with friends and all of that. So riding the bus is a privilege. Let me tell you this, and I'm going to end here. You parents is wrong for allowing your children to feel that it's all right for them to talk back to adults and really for them to feel like that they can put their hands on somebody. So let me tell you, had your child hit me, it had been the last time you would have had a child. 
because you would have been at the morgue going to view your child. Because as I commenced to beat their butt into the floor, which you should have been doing all along so that they know how to respect adults, we wouldn't be in this situation if you'd been doing that. N The parents need to be held accountable. You need to go to jail for your children's actions because it is your job to discipline and teach your children how to respect elders and respect adults and respect authority, not to disrespect, not to put their hands on. But see, now had this driver turn around and popped your child and commits to beating your butt, your child's butt, then you'd be, oh my God, the bus driver did this. Hell no. Your child started it. The bus driver just finished it, which didn't happen. But had it been over here, you wouldn't have a child. I promise you. I will commence to beating your child into the next week. And we'll have intentions to come to your house and beat your butt for your child feeling that it's all right. Because... It is time out for telling children, you go to the corner, Tommy. Time out. I don't want to hear from you no more. Go stand in the corner. Go in your room. That's not parenting. That's foolishness. That's foolery. Because, see, Tavis Smiley had this lady, and I want to think, I think her name is Dr. Gertrude or something. I can't remember. But she said this thing, and it was so profound to me that I was watching. And if I can find the link, I will put this link in the bottom with the story as well. And she said, and I don't, you'd have to watch it for yourself. She said that the teachers are scared of the superintendent. The superintendent are scared of the parents. The parents are scared of the kids. And the kids ain't scared of nobody. That's why they come into schools and do what they do. Because they know that if you hit them, they can call 911. But see, that's the problem. We got too many pansies in law. And you black folks, you won't vote. But you've allowed... For this situation to happen where your kids can call 911 on you. But had you voted, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. But it's all right for the kids to call 911. No, they need their butts beat. Tommy, stop. They hitting the parents. We see these videos all the time. I wish my child would. <laughs> would die. <laughs> Buck up. Buck up, Bucky. Buck up, Bucky. So, get this out. Share this video. Tell everybody. Because we need to go back to the days of old where discipline. You go get a switch off the tree and beat they butts until they get right. It's your boy Christopher Terrence Jones. I'm out. You guys have a great day. Bye.